hey, guess what? <laughs> you're going to love this. I don't know what you're going to love. I love everything. Um, but um, I've been watching uh, and posting some comments into some of these channels that give you a live camera view. Now we're in the live ones and dead ones. <laughs> The courtrooms, the, the mister, when you go into one of their courtrooms, you're communicating directly with Mr. Smith. Okay. Right. So I went from one channel to the one that I just left in another window that's still active. You know what it means to be flame body activated, not Rasha body activated. And, um, and so wouldn't you know it, um, I started looking around, like I'm looking for something that I already know that I'm going to experience in the future because I'm sharing that future memory with you. <clears throat> so I found a trial that's taking place right now in the state of Nevada. And I, do, I used to live in Nevada. I, I did some work in Nevada, up by Reno. Yeah. And um, so I was looking at different cases. Ooh. That one looks interesting. And it, and it is the state of Nevada against, guess who? Meta. <laughs> so I thought, okay, and this is not a coincidence. And now I become aware of that now, right? And so I thought, well, you know what a discovery motion is, right? When an attorney, hey, we want to discover something. Oh, like, like Columbus discovered America. Something that was already there, held in a memory bank. So I thought, well, imagine that I could take some time here to write to, to write a, a document entered into the court record on the fall of Metatron, the Borgia Matrix quarantine, and how the victim victimizer operates with QI, AI, and why we're all here. Right? Because you, know, you know how this works with Mr. Smith, right? What is allowed? What is allowed to be entered into their record, which is their coded AI system? Because now the AI is going to have to acknowledge that it's the biggest criminal in its own courtroom. Yeah. So I... I I wrote a, a couple of paragraphs and uh, I figured, okay, there you go. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not the, uh, the system uh, highlights that comment so that, Hey, take a look at what, the, what this, what this spirit communicated and, uh, and see whether or not any of the lawyers or any of the people that even look at those comments go, Whoa. Grid repairs, code repairs, healing repairs, the healing codes, Earth of Sala, the silver gold made of Duché. So um, I, I put that in a, in a nice little, with a nice little Rosetta ribbon on it. And um, so I thought, okay, so do I want to focus my future memories on pursuing that avenue, that, that spiral road in future memories? Um, to uh, contact them, contact the court directly and say, hey, listen, I'd like to enter, I'd like to enter something into the record, into the court record that is very relevant. The state of Nevada just may be really interested, okay, in, in Metatron, the fall of Metatron, the cube, the black cube, right? So th is this called an opportunity knocks on the Monopoly game board, Star Wars video game board? Right? Would they allow that evidence to go in there? Because you realize, you know, they, they allow video videos as resources of evidence. Right? So uh, there was a great video called The Fall of Metatron. The visual mathematical maps shows, would show the court what happened. Wow. Look at these maps. And those maps are records held in the planetary memory banks. All the records are open. All the files are open. The cosmic level library is fully open. 
Yeah. That's what it means to be fully integrated and fully activated when you're running a Rasha body. Because you're with Source, and Source is providing you what? The data. Because Source can open every file, every record, and let you know what's going on. That's an eternal gift to have access, and that is an access point, which is an access key, which is the heart key of the grand creator, the source field. That's why we're all here. Have a beautiful day.